Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Aisha and today we have a bit of a cumulative haul. I keep using that word. It is the right word. Like cumulative, like just a mix of hauls basically. All Bath and Body Works. So the kind of tail end of the next clearance sale on the app. I have an in-store outlet purchase which oh, I'm so excited about. And then I have a little vintage, tiny little vintage shop. So this is just going to be a couple of little bits, but I just wanted to pop on and talk to you guys. I've been pretty unwell recently. I had a horrible chest infection, which just left me with no energy to do anything. After work, I was actually just coming home and just wanted to lie in a dark room. <laughs> I have been doing a couple of shorts and stuff on my Instagram just to let you guys know I'm still here. Because I haven't done a weekend video in about two weeks now, which really isn't like me. I was getting on the ball so well and I just dropped, just dropped off last week. Or the week before. Um, so I did have a load of videos planned and I was getting a really good schedule and keeping myself, keeping on top of everything and then it just kind of, it fell off. I feel like everything just like happened in one week. So here we are. I have a couple of hauls to show. Um, I do have a video that I'm planning to do, which is taking a bit of a planning. Um, so that'll take a little while, but that will be out soon. It's to do with like expiry dates and batch dates on products um, because I think it's really important if you have a hydrogen collection to know your dates of things. I also need to organise my collection, it's just out of hand and I have some storage that I'm going to change out so that needs doing. And my empties and project keys up will obviously come at the end of the month as, as usual and then we do go on holiday so I'm filming this on Tuesday, you've probably seen this on Wednesday. Um, we go on holiday in three weeks which is so exciting, I'm so excited to get away uh, to some sun so I might do a packing video, I might, I'm not sure yet, I might do like a little what I'm taking on holiday with me, my holiday essentials, my summer essentials type video so sort of combine like a summer favourites with a packing video type thing. Anyway. All that just to say, I'm still here, I'm plodding along, <laughs> um, I just want to talk to you guys, I don't know. Um, I've been get slowly getting back to all your lovely kind messages over on Instagram and here on YouTube. I just feel like I get into a rut with messages, I miss them for like three days and then they all pile up and I get back to you guys. So I just want to say thank you for all the lovely support, just it's been amazing support on my video about the store opening in Manchester was just incredible. I really appreciate that. It really meant a lot to me. I know that I had some eyes on that video and it was kind of an important one for me. So I shall say thank you so much for the support and I will get back to all the messages, I promise. Anyway, let's get into this haul. Although it's small, I'm gonna say it's small but very mighty because there is just some top class things in here. There are some things that have been on my wish list for a little while, there's some backups of some favourites. Yeah, so there's about it's like eight items or so, but they are I think very exciting. So the first thing we'll just go through the vintage because it's only one item. I found this on Vinted and I just had to get it. So this is a pretty as a peach body cream and it's in the old style packaging. I have the mist, I think the mist does match this packaging. And I have a shower gel, I think, or I think I have a honeysuckle shower gel, the like honeysuckle peach spritz or honeysuckle sweet tea or whatever it's called. Um, shower gel. So I'm excited to have this cream. So this is from the Signature Collection. It literally says Signature Collection on the back. So this is old. It says fresh, juicy, oh so pretty, life's never been peachier. Key notes of blush and peach, jasmine petals, white nectary and apple blossom and sheer freesia. Looking at the age of this, I think this is from 2017. From my knowledge of batch codes and numbers, I will share with you in a video soon. I think this is from 2017. <laughs> so. I think this will have to go on my list of things to use up. At the bottom says it was $13. I'm sure body creams now are like $16.95 or something like that. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so fresh. So peachy. Oh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's in really good condition. It looks a little bit yellow on camera because I have a artificial light on, which is a bit yellow. But it's actually in really great condition. It smells incredible. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. One of my favourite packages in this with like the blue and the gold. I love this. I have loads of peach things in my collection to use it with, so this will be on my next spring use it up. Because I do have creams that are newer but in worse condition. But like I say, got this out of winter. I got it in a bundle with a book because my other obsession from Bath and Body Works is books. As you can see, my collection is piling up. This is my to read shelf. It's up 
it's a lot bigger than my red <laughs> shelf recently. Um, but yeah, it, they, the seller also had a book I was really interested in. So the bundle came out to £8.18, pence, which makes each item just over £4 each, which I'm happy about because I think £4 for a book isn't too bad and £4 for body cream is pretty good. So happy with that. Then we will go in to, let's do the next stuff first, so the, um, the clearance. So this clearance has been running since kind of the start of summer, the same as the SAS sale online. I have spoken to a couple of people about this, I got Instagram and comments and stuff. Basically, the sale starts, they put obviously a bulk load of stuff in the sale, it starts to sell out, things go. You can return items, your hygiene items and the beauty items to next door, so things might get returned, parcels might not get picked up, whatever, so inventory is constantly changing. I personally don't think that Next intentionally updates their sale or their clearance section every day. I don't think that it's like intentional that everyday stock is swapped out or anything because it actually changes like instantly like hour by hour not just day by day. Um, I do try and update everything I can on my Instagram, anything that I see come into stock, anything that I see added to the section, just all updates basically. But I don't think it's intentionally daily, like I say, I just think it's as returns come in, I think it's as inventory is found and stock numbers update every so often. Just from my experience in retail, I think it's just more of a absolute pure and utter chance that you are on the app or on the website at that point. My biggest piece of advice with the next website is if you see something you want, add it to your basket. If it says sold out, do not delete it. All of these items were in my basket sold out. I clicked on the app, my basket said three, meaning three things were in stock, just randomly at one time. When I put them in the basket, they were sold out, and then they randomly come back into stock, like I say, through a return or an inventory tech or whatever, and they're now here. So, yeah, I'll also, I've got a little bit more of a story to go with the outlet as well to do with stock. So, yeah, just, just keep things in your basket. I always have at least 20 things in my basket at one point. Right, so, oh, I was so excited when these all popped up at the same time. So, first one we have is the Kitchen Lemon Foaming Soap. This is a big favourite of my family's. This one is Zesty Lemon, Sparkler Citrus and Italian Bergamot. So this one has a label with the price on. So my thought about this is that it was maybe in a store at one point and then it's gone on sale and they've put it back online. It also seems to have like some like mark on the front you can see here. So then I'm also thinking was this maybe an in-store return or just a return of some sort, not necessarily to a Bath and Body Works because there's not many here in the UK, but just to a next door. It's gone in the inventory, it's gone on that. Yeah, we love this, it's definitely a family favourite, so I was very happy to see this. So that says £7.50, soaps are now £10, so this is obviously old inventory, old stock, this is from 2021. Um, I'm just going to double check because this was a little while ago that I placed this. This went down to £3. I would have picked up more. But I kind of just checked out in a panic and I think when I tried to increase the number it wouldn't let me. That's what generally what happens to just be one off random. Very happy about this. Then I also picked up or also came into stock was this Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow Body Cream. Very random. This one was down to £4. Can't pass up a body cream for £4. I quite like this collection. I think it divides people but I quite like it. This is oh, it's so good. Uh, velvet peach, vanilla meringue and creamy jasmine. Yeah, it's like a dessert peach, so good. But I hope this, this probably will show on camera as extremely, extremely yellow. So I am gonna plan a winter peach routine to use this up. I'm pretty sure my mum has the shower gel, so maybe I could commandeer that for a little while. Um, yeah, I think peach could translate into winter anyway. I love peach all year round. I think if you maybe add some gourmands, add a bit of vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It's still fresh peach, but you definitely get the meringue vanilla. Ooh, I'm even getting a bit of the jasmine on my hand. So I actually think it would be really, really nice winter routine. So yeah, very happy with that for four pounds. Can't go wrong. I think they're 16 or 18 full price. It's changing. I can't keep up. <laughs> And then this, oh, Gingham Heart of Gold. A Gingham Heart of Gold shower gel popped up for six pounds. Now I think this is some sort of like fate, not fate, that's a bit far, but just a little, little good karma for me because last year I ordered two of these in the sale and my order got canceled. 
And this is one of my favourite scents. I fell absolutely in love with it. And yeah, like I said, I picked up two in the sale last year. The order got cancelled. I think I think I got what? No, I shouldn't actually think that if that order ever came through. And then when this popped up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's my shower gel that went missing. <laughs> Oh, I love this so much. It's crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood. I also think this is going to be one of my winter scents. I'm already starting to plan my winter project user up and I have a feeling that this might sneak in there somehow. I do have two full sets now so I'm so happy about that. Okay, so that's everything I picked up online. And this is my mini outlet haul. So, story time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I'm always posting fun stuff on there. And... Yeah, basically we went to the York outlet, the York Design outlet, while we were on a weekend away in York. And they had a Next, a big huge Next door. Yeah, so we went to the Design outlet. We have a Design outlet fairly near to where we are, but they never have the Bath & Body Works in store. So we went to the big Next in the York outlet. They had a big Next, yeah. They had stands of Bath & Body Works items. Go check out my Instagram for all the pictures. And yeah, there were so many candles, so much Christmas stuff. Just random one-offs. Um, I was obviously super excited to find it. I did want to grab some candles, but I kind of talked myself out of it. I was like, no, I don't need them. Just because they're here, just because I can sniff them in the real person, like, doesn't mean I need them. They just had loads of stuff. So, I mean, I did find a couple of little gems. So, they had an abundance of this soap. They had so many. This wasn't a gem. This was... <laughs> they had lots of this. This is a fresh sparkle and snow absolutely love this collection it's so cute it is from 2021 this one has icy melon holiday pear and fallen snow i have a couple of these it's one of my favorite scents it's that pear note i absolutely love it the icy melon i think you could use this any year like you could use this all year round but something about it is just nice and wintry so this was down from £10 as they are full price to £4.50 probably a little bit more than i would pay the three or four pound is a little bit better but for that I don't know, for this packaging, for the colour, for the little ice skates. I just, I loved this. I just loved shopping in store. It just made me so excited. This wasn't like a full Bath & Body Works outlet. It was Bath & Body Works section within a next. Like I said, check out my Instagram for pictures. Okay, and then this was another kind of hidden gem. They only had a couple of these. This is the Winterbury Wonder Shower Gel. So excited about this. Now, on here, this says down from £8 to £4. These are £16 full price. I don't know who was marking this down from 8 to 4 No idea. But I pay £4 for it. I'm very happy about that. This is one of my favourite, favourite scents. It's actually in my project use up at the moment. This is the third one. Yeah, the third one total in my collection now. I just love it. I was using it, like I say, my project use it up. I just, I love it so, so much. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to have more of this. It's like a frosted cranberry and vanilla. <sighs> Perfumey. It is a bit wintry, but I'm really enjoying it in the summer now. I just really love that cranberry note. And yeah, I just love this one. <laughs> There's no, no bad things to say about it. So for £4, I picked up another one. Okay, and then the last item. This is what you call a hidden gem. This, there was only one of this. It was right up the top. I missed it. The whole time we were shopping, I missed it. And then I was looking at photos on my phone. And I was like, hmm, what's that? So I went back to the first stand that I saw. And this was at the top. I was like, I have to have that. This is Winter Berry Ice. This has been on my wish list for the longest time and ever i see this on vintage or depop i'm so tempted to get it i mean this packaging is so cute as well same collection as the uh, fresh sparkling snow with this like frosted packaging this one was on the stand open so you see the lids like popped open and you can see there's like marks of almost like i don't know what it is just marks of like it looks like dried paint it's the only way to describe it i don't care i'm having it I'm having it. Uh, this is also down to £4.50. I probably should have asked for a bit cheaper since it's all banged up, but I, just, I didn't even care. This is Ice Cherries Juicy Orange and Snowy Lime. Oh, it is amazing. It's definitely like cherry limeade. It's definitely medicinal cherry. I don't get any of the orange. I just get medicinal cherry and then like a zesty lime. I love this. I mean, the notes cherry lime and orange to me would would usually just scream summer. But smelling it, like, yeah, it is wintry. It just smells like a cherry got medicine. <laughs> but I love it. It's been on my wish list for so long. I'm so excited to find it. So, 
yeah, I was very happy about these soap finds. We go through soap like crazy in this house, so <laughs> we definitely need it. So yeah, I was really happy with my three soaps, my two shower gels, two of my favourite scents ever, and then two peachy creams. I'm really happy about this. At the pace I'm getting through my collection, I would say this would be a max now, like if that makes sense, like I'm at the max I can buy, I can max it, I can store. I need to start doing like a one in one out type thing or maybe like a two out one in. I'm definitely on a low buy slash no buy at the moment. I'm on an essentials only buy if that makes sense. So yeah, anyway, we are losing light. My camera is about to die. It's not looking good. All I wanted to say about the outlet was that there is a lot of stock at that outlet. Um, and I would imagine eventually maybe that they would start moving that sales stock online. They would start offering it online because they had so many candles and so many of the same candle. Um, so like I was saying, that might also factor into these random items popping up on the online sales. They might start, like they might review their in-store stock and realise, oh, we've got 700 like, T and Sage candles because honestly that's what it seemed like. So they'll start moving them online. So yeah, I would just say if you see something in the clearance section you like, put it in your basket, keep it there even if it's sold out because you might end up getting lucky. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you'll be seeing more regular content from me again. My Wednesday and Saturday videos, I will I'll do my best. But yeah, it's just been nice to catch up with you guys. I always love chatting to you guys. Um, let me know what you've been up to in the comments. Let me know what you've been finding. Any good... I know there were some like random Halloween items in the clearance sale. That's always fun to find. Just, yeah, let me know what you've been up to and what you've been finding. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!